were never gone And then it would be just like you were never gone And you'd never come back if you ever come back now You're tuned in to 94.3 Radio 1 And this is Mumbai On Demand with Annie Radio 1 Good afternoon. It is 2.5 on the clock and my guest is here. In fact, he was very much before time. And then now that he's here in the studio with me, I am only happy and honored to have him in the studio. You did not know this about him. And I told this in the beginning of the show that he is one of the finest speakers one has come across in the whole of Asia. Yeah, he's amongst the top speakers and also globally known for the kind of work that he's done. So, Jagmohan, a very, very warm welcome to my show. Thank you so much, Shani. It's been a pleasure being here. <laughs> You have an impressive list of things you've done. Okay, you started sure. with banking. Then you went on to become a speaker and you're very good at that. You're amongst the top uh, 20 speakers of the globe is what I believe you are rated as. As long as I'm not sued for that, I'm happy <laughs> claiming that. <laughs> and now an author. Did you always dream of this? This kind of a journey, this step? Yeah, so actually, I'm glad you asked that because there are very few things that I really dream about apart from my wife, you know. Oh. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, on the subject of uh, writing, I think that was one of the first loves and uh, I started writing when I was about 11. So okay. The oh, first stuff got published at 12 with, wow. you know, there was this magazine called Target in those days. Uh, okay. We're talking about like many, many years back. <laughs> um, so I used to write for them. I mm -hmm. wrote a bit for papers and uh, just never got around to writing a book. Okay. Uh, so... That happened eventually. Okay. So when was uh, the time? Oh, okay, now you happen to tell me that you've also written three other books, which has been in the non-fiction category. That's right. Get Happy Now, Think Away to Millions, which you um, told me very nicely not to touch upon because it's investor psychology. <laughs> <Maybe> <laughs> <laughs> to start with, it's not something that I will understand in the first place. And then there was Nadella, the changing face of Microsoft, which did pretty well. Yes, that happened last year. Tell us, tell us something about that book. So Nadella... Um, actually happened um, a little before Satya Nadella okay. became the chief of Microsoft globally. Ah. And uh, fortunately for us and the publishers, uh, that was with Hatchet, um, we had started writing that book uh, before he ascended mm. that role. Mm -hmm. So I think there's an interesting story there, very motivational because it actually tells you the story about a guy who was born in Hyderabad, mm. not an ITIM, and you know, yet he actually gets to, at the age of 45, 46, mm. I'll be at the helm of the most legendary company of all times, and that's yeah. Microsoft. Wow, wow. So that's there. He's got three books behind him. But now coming to uh, fiction, how did this happen? Well, I think it was in the offing for a very, very long time. Okay. And um, came late, but glad it did. So, you know, I mean, around the time that I left banking, which is in 2004, mm. I'd been uh, toying with the idea of... Uh, Writing a book on Krishna because, uh, well, you know my name, right? And, uh, <laughs> uh, that's like another one for yes. Krishna. Yes. And um, I was just very enamored with Krishna's story. And when I used to look at books or, you know, the popular serial Mahabharata, I figured that that was not Krishna's story, actually. That was mm -hmm. somebody else's story. That oh. was about the Pandas and the Kauravas more than Krishna. Mm. So I decided to write about Krishna. And obviously, there was a lot of research I didn't bargain for. So it took me nine years. Wow. And finally, last year, I penned it down and Rupa publications were out there to pick it up. <laughs> and now it's there in the market. You know, he's being modest. He said all three publishers came back saying that they'd like to publish it. And yes, he's gone with Rupa. We're going to be talking about a little on uh, the, the, the other two. It's a trilogy, right? So this is part one that has now been released. There are two more. And you'd be surprised to know what he's done with the other two. But we are also going to talk about how he has been training leaders across the globe right after this song Emblem 3 and that is a request that's coming from Urvi if you have any requests you know what you can do type in only leave a space the name of the song your name and send it to 53650 and don't forget the cup question on which you are going to win the first part of the Krishna trilogy which is the curse of Brahma and that is the art gallery the oldest one in the city of Mumbai Everyone. 